Hello and welcome back Fuzzy Dice fans. It's Darren here for Fuzzy Dice Motors and welcome all the new subscribers. Um, and hello and welcome because it is April Fool's Day and who is the biggest fool of them all? It's me right here. Yeah folks, sometimes it's hard to do an intro. Uh, it's, it, this is an active business and uh, you know, they got work to do out here. But anyway, yes, the biggest fool of all right here. Uh, undisputed. It's April Fool's Day, like I said. And I know if you watched my earlier videos, I was saying that we were trying to find Meekum worthy vehicles. What that means is uh, vehicles that we would love to buy, maybe do a little work on it, and then run it through a Meekum auction. But also, we have almost no inventory whatsoever. We need to find ourselves some fast flips, cars that we can get in, sell, turn a profit on it, you know, ASAP, as soon as possible, and get some money in our pockets. Um, and then, so we're gonna be doing that. At the same time, we're trying to find cool things to run through Mako. So, um, without further ado, let's go see if we can find ourselves something uh, cheap and easy to flip. Well, guys, actually, I thought we were in luck. 2013 Honda Fit, 124,000 miles. I just scanned the barcode and checked the MMR. And the MMR came back to over $5,000, around $5,500. Uh, that's taking into account the uh, the color, the condition, uh, year mileage, all that stuff. Um, actually, it looks like I can barely see it. Yeah, this was a uh, delivery vehicle for a... Uh, healthcare provider it's very faint but you can see it so i wonder if it was maintained um got some clear coat damage here i may see one hell dent on the roof but uh for a 2013 delivery vehicle it's not bad it looks like it's got really good uh almost brand new tires on it falcons go we'll see if this door is open here it is a little automatic Seats look to be in really good shape. No center armrest. Um, it's a Honda, so it'll most likely uh, be a great car. We got a lot of more. Uh, <laughs> we have, excuse me. We have a lot more. Yeah, words are not easy for some of us. Uh, vo vocabulary or verbiage challenged. Clear coat burn here is typical for Hondas, especially on red. Got some fading here. Uh, some good wear and tear on that back bumper but um yeah i was hoping that this would be uh, a little more affordable so we're looking for something around you know almost that maybe the three thousand dollar range so this is about two thousand dollars or so out of our range got another dent here probably from hail we will go ahead and give you guys a quick look in here on this side because it's so much different from the other i probably shouldn't look at this this thing has been detailed as well it looks like on the inside so okay uh, this is out of our price range for right now so we will continue our efforts all right guys how about this for our flip car 2016 hyundai sonata 157 almost 158 miles I kind of cheated and I looked inside of it and actually I started the car. It is now running. Uh, I did not see a check engine light. The body looks pretty good. I don't really see any considerable damage considering, you know, I know time passes fast, but yeah, it's almost a, uh, a 10 year old car. What is it? Eight years old. Um, math is not my best subject. So it's a, uh, cloth interior car it seems to be running just fine it needs to be vacuumed out which is not a huge problem yeah this this might be the AC is on oh <laughs> guys you're seeing this in real time when I'm seeing it and right here, this is, yeah, that's a huge, huge dent. Um, you probably need to replace that fender. That's very disappointing because uh, I got the AC on, which is nice and cold. 
And honestly, you're, you're seeing, uh, yeah, it with me. I, uh, I did not walk all the way around it, which is the number one rule. You need to walk all the way around the car. So, dirty, dirty, dirty. My gosh, this engine is almost as dirty as the one in my car. Um, it sounds good. GDI gasoline direct injection to put carbon on your valves. But that's a story for another day. Um, it does sound good. It is dirty. This makes you a little nervous. This here looks to be kind of maybe a little slimy with oil and not so much over here. So it could be leaking oil around the valve cover gasket. But um, now if I were to get this car and buy it for $3,000, okay, uh, how much is that gonna cost? So that's something that I might do. Actually, I, I may go online and see if I can find another fender cheap in that color now if you can get it in that color and you saved yourself a ton of money uh, because you don't have to do all the prep work and paint it and whatnot and out the materials and the labor but uh, that is very very sad indeed uh, because that could have been my flip car all right I'll go ahead get this one shut off the window put back up because I think it's gonna rain and uh, we will keep moving on well, what about a 2005 Lexus, the 470? Uh, headlights are very faded. Got some chips here on the uh, hood. Got some spray paint on the uh, grill. Blacked it out. 100, what did I say? 156,000 miles. Looks like we got a cracked uh, windshield. So you'd probably want to address that before you got it sold. I did the MMR. I think this is valued for the dealer to pay around $4,400. Got some ugly black wheels. Okay, the seat is not ripped over here. Looks like we have a grab bar over there in that seat that has come off. We got a little Bluetooth thing in my jig over here. It's a little too old, I guess, for Bluetooth. Actually, I say that my uh, I had a 2005 Mini Cooper S that I bought many, many years ago. Well, bought it brand new in 05. Do the math. And uh, it had Bluetooth. Wow, okay. This back seat looks pretty good. Shows the door panel. Now, we have not tried to start it yet. And put you guys back here so you can see. There you go. There's your third row seat. Looks to be in good shape. Yes, master cameraman. Fuzzy Dice Motors, master of the camera. Eh, not so much. Oh, let's get in here. Well, oh, it's nice and comfy. Does it run? And look, this works. If that was a uh, Mercedes, it probably wouldn't work or a BMW. I do not see any check engine lights on. All I see is a TPMS uh, light, low center. So it could have a low uh, tire or it could be a bad sensor, we don't know. So, uh, got some goodies over here. You guys take a look at that. We've got goodies here. I don't know what this is. Maybe uh, heats up your drink or it's a phone charger or a magnet for your phone. We got heated seats down here. We got stuff over here. We got some cup holders. We got some uh, more cup holders down there and a little hidey hole. What do we got in the glove box? All the books. We got some DVDs or CDs rather. And this player up there, your multi disc. We're going to hit, I agree. Yeah, it's a touch screen too. Well, you know, I guess, why, while we're in here, we could go ahead and take this for a little drive. And yeah, it's starting to rain, which is really unfortunate. It's been kind of a crappy day for me. And if you want to leave comments or saying, ooh, poor 
baby, here's your binky and clean diaper, you can, and uh, I won't be upset with you. But uh, yeah, it, it uh, raining me out would just be par for the course. So enough of my uh, crying. And yeah, you can call the ambulance if you want to. By the way, the ambulance sounds like this. Wah, wah. And the number for the ambulance is wine one one. So there, there's all the jokes. Let's go ahead and hit them up, move them out. All right, all right guys, we are, well, we were gonna move out, but this gentleman decided that he would go ahead and walk in front of us. And you no, know, again, again, guys, I gotta apologize for that. This is, it, it's not about me. I'm just one stupid little uh, dealer out here. This is a, a business. These people, <laughs> these people are actually working and they got jobs to do. And I'm out here basically uh, screwing around, making videos that uh, no one watches. Um, I think I think we're up to 96 subscribers. Still looking for that, the big 100, which is sad because you guys don't probably know that I've been doing these videos since 2017, and I have only <laughs> managed to accumulate, I think, about a hundred. It may this may be my 104 video that I've made in that time. So, yeah, a lot of the. Uh, lack of subscribers is of course definitely uh is for it's it, it, it's on me and 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 here is this poor guy again i i'm really i'm not i'm not trying to chase him around <laughs> I, I promise i'm not okay back to the vehicle back to the issue at hand this lexus here with 156,000 miles on it i don't know if you're looking for a big Reliable SUV, four by four, it's gonna hold all the kids and the neighbor's kids and your dog and hell, maybe the neighbor's dog too. Um, this might be it. Right, this is where I stop talking so I can hear the vehicle. Okay, so where we check brakes. steering watch the gauges make sure we're not overheating or we're not losing oil pressure also you want to turn these vehicles sharp and listen and feel vibrations, clunking, thumping, clicking, tapping, kicking, buzzing, whirling, whirring. What? Okay. The AC is on. And it is blowing cold. I don't have the blower up very high, but uh, it is blowing cold. Now, once again, I do not see any check engine lights. We have a half a tank of gas, which at a dealer auction, that's insane. It's pure insanity. Someone's getting fired over this, having a half a tank of gas in here. It's nuts. Okay, now the task at hand is to put this back from once it came and it's B something 12 or, oh I'm actually right here next to it okay I'm gonna shut this guys I'm gonna shut this off guys so I can get this thing parked cannot speak at all who wants to see the engine I do yeah of course you do yes we have a battery in here I do not see a date on it it may be on here but I don't I don't see it um, it looks pretty clean under here. I don't smell any oil burning, as in uh, bad valve cover gaskets. So the AC was in fact working. I don't see any bailing wire or zip ties, bubble gum, or two befores. Looks like we have maybe new struts for the hood. I really wish 
they hadn't have done that to this but um you know i could probably get a replacement off ebay for that if i wanted to and i could probably uh get some stuff to clear up those headlights this appears to be new uh these scratches i don't care for those scratches but they're there just the same over here as you see this is this is fogged up pretty good all in all guys not a bad vehicle uh we may have to place a bid on this it's not exactly what i would call a cheap fast flip but um it's not super old and it's got good miles on it all right folks we're gonna do a little walk in here let's we'll see what they got here hidden on the inside this Volkswagen I've already done a video on that so check out my earlier videos if you want to see a full video on this Volkswagen 1963 last week we did a video on this Ferrari and as you can tell it's still here so obviously it did not sell Again, if you want to see the full video on it, check it out below. It was from last week. It did not sell. And also, another update, guys. See, the 1968 Camaro also did not sell. The guy wanted about 40000 for it. Here's a 2003 Nissan 350Z. Convertible. Aftermarket wheels. Uh, I have a prediction. My prediction is, look at me laying on of hands the, the, my prediction is the top doesn't work why because the tops never work they are under engineered and it's really frustrating to have a convertible where the top doesn't work you have a top that's made of cloth and it doesn't work so the worst of all worlds okay my bad to a 370z and i bet the top still doesn't work a video here guys of all the uh this is like the staging lanes these are all the cars that are getting ready to go through and get their photos the vin information before they can be uh sent out here to the uh to the lot this is kind of like the staging area so i'll just get you guys some some information here it's like a nice looking audi over there Go look at this none of, none of these cars will have uh stickers on them yet this tahoe looks hold on here there we go this tahoe looks pretty darn clean so we won't know anything about it not yet but that doesn't mean that we can't open the door oh yes the lights when you see this stuff in here that's a good sign that means you're going to have lights and sirens and stuff at least usually a lot of times all this stuff is gutted but as you see the light bar is up here this right uh, of course they always leave that and i bet you this is not going to open because oh actually it does open let me out of here it wasn't me i didn't do it i tells you it wasn't me This would be fun to play with. All right, folks. I was just told or asked by my business partner if I could check out this 2014 Toyota 4Runner 131,419 miles. Looks good so far. We got good tires. Engine sounds like an engine. Got some nice wheels on there. Got a luggage rack. It is a limited. I love the color of the, of the interior. Yes, I cheated. I just, uh, this here is a little bit of something here, which is, it's not too terrible. This has like a brown leather interior, which I'll show you in just a second. Now we got black here with the, uh, the red, uh, red line going through it here. 
the interior got a little little whoop de doo here showing some age but uh this looks good here it's not torn there looks good there there the ac is working we're gonna see if this back door is open man i need a haircut bad look like a homeless beggar or something uh the interior back here looks pretty darn good so we're gonna go ahead before it gets too late because we do have rain coming in here we're gonna throw this sucker in reverse we're gonna get up on out of here we're gonna drive it somebody was too short all right oh gonna show you guys around yeah there is a time and that ac is blowing cold radio all the goodies all kinds of stuff here we here there's all your books down there we do have a sunroof headliner looks to be in good repair i was gonna say it looks in good shape but i thought i'd be fancy and say repair we are in reverse we're gonna smack this van behind us real good tear up two things at once actually i hope that we don't that would be bad so you're gonna stay with me here as we're backing up all right we've backed up successfully the uh backup camera was working all right let's get this get the show on the road well, let me know that my seat belt's not on which i wish it isn't And we're driving, and we're driving. We're gonna hold it down here, see if it... Yeah, okay, do we have brakes? Yes, we have brakes. We're in eco mode, it says. Oh, there's the uh, Lexus that we just drove earlier. One of my friends that I know up here, he's also interested in it. Look at us, we're just bebopping around like we own the whole damn place. Oh yeah, that little snitch beeping down there. Snitching around. Snitching around like an automatic snitching machine. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna... Wait, I don't think this is correct at all, is it? Oh, no, it's not correct because I was on the other side of the... Uh... See, it works this Mercedes Sprinter van, which that's a guy here doing some work on these vehicles. Here, you can call these mobile mechanic guys and they'll come out here and they'll work on your vehicle before it runs through. All right, we're gonna get on in, in here. All righty, and we're gonna smack that, no, okay, we're not, smack attack. All right, there we go. Well, got an old five Toyota Avalon, 142,000 miles. And, uh, you know, these are really, really good cars. Uh, you know, it's like, like a Lexus. I got like a Lexus motor in it. I know it's all Toyota, but this is like the baby Lexus. But uh, lots of clear coat damage, interior, bad shape, dirty seats. Got something going on here with the door. I don't like that tent is all screwed up um yeah again folks i don't know if i if you've been been watching me in any length of time i'll always tell you that you know almost almost any money that you spend getting these cars uh ready for sale it's uh it, it almost always goes bad for you it's also an uh, xls we got a dent in here we got stuff going on back here um you know, it's all about profit margin. You want to make as much profit margin as you can on one without, you know, being a complete total jerk. Because, you know, this is your living. This is how you pay your bills and, you know, feed the family. But, uh, yeah, this car here is just, wow. Yeah, this door is messed up. We got trouble here with, what's that, maybe the radio, I guess. This is tore up. Super dirty. It's, this is all cracked up in here. Hopefully you can see that. But uh, yeah, this is one I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pass on uh, and see what else we can find. 
Well, all right, guys, I guess that's going to be it for this one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep looking, try to find our, uh, our, our fast, quick flip, if there is such a thing. Hopefully there is. I'm going to keep looking, but uh, it's going to continue on in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching, folks. Thanks to all the new, the new folks here. Please, if you see anything here that you like that you like that I'm doing here, please like, comment, and subscribe. It doesn't cost anything, and it certainly does help us uh, help us out and out uh, and the algorithm. I'll learn to talk one of these days, folks. I I promise I will. As always, folks, better cars, best prices. It's fuzzy dice or no dice.